I think this is an old-fashioned data storage unit. It belongs to the library. Hmm, I think I need some kind of device to read it. Yes, this one seems to work, and it looks like I can read the data with it. Oh dear, that's a lot of data. Analyzing it has to wait until after I've found the other San Francisco team. The globe only hangs on this hinge. It looks very sound. Yes, I think this is the proper tool. It was made of some kind of durable plastic. Looks seaworthy. Maybe I can use this as a boat to find the other team. I need a paddle. The rod perfectly fits into the curve of the sheet handle. Let's see. Okay, what's next? It's not very sound, yet. Yes, I can bind the parts firmly together with the rope. Hey, it looks like a paddle. Maybe I can use this as a boat to find the other team. And I have a paddle. Let's go. According to the display, the second capsule must be very close. The vehicle must have toppled over when the water level fell. Hmm, looks like there is something behind the canvas, but I can't get it off with my bare hands. Barrels were hidden behind the canvas. Hmm, they seem to be empty. I can pull the barrel out by hand. A short board is sticking up from the mud. I'm not going to do that again, ever. Salvador, Delvin. Faye, is that you? Everything okay with you? Just a few scratches, but I don't know how long we'll be safe here. Where's Nigel? He's dead, and the other teams, they are all dead. Then you better think of something to get us out of here quickly else you'll be the last survivor. How can I help you? You must find a way to take us away from here before the time capsule comes down on our heads. But how? We still have a rope. We can use the harpoon to shoot it up to you, but that's all we can do. Okay, let's try it.
Delvin used the harpoon to shoot this rope up to me. How am I supposed to pull the two up with this? Hmm, the key is in the lock. This vehicle might actually still work. Hmm, the key is in the lock. Let me see. It works! The car really started, but I'd better stop the engine for now. The rear axle is covered in mud. Yes, I should be able to clear the mud away with this. A rusted wheel rim is still attached to the rear wheel. I wonder what happened to the tire. And the wheel is done. I put the rope on the wheel rim. Good. That'll hold. Hmm, the key is in the lock. Well then, let's go! And that was how I found Salvador and Delvin. The way back to the global was hell. Honestly, I know the theories about climate change. And I truly believe something must be done about it. But what I don't understand is why you had to make up such an absurd story. It's the truth! San Francisco flooded, tornadoes in Europe, and all this as early as 2050? Ridiculous! We calculate time differently than you do. Maybe it's 2500. Oh, in that case, you can well talk to my son. He is continuing my research. He is the Svensson you are looking for. Wait! I am sure. It was 2050. Listen, I know the studies. My God, I prepared some of them myself. 2050 is nonsense, like the rest of your story. You can't even predict the weather a week from now, and you really think half a century is too short a time? Indeed. You turn your back for just a second, and ten years have passed. The kid has grown up, the wife is ill, and... <sighs> and the poles have melted. Exactly. No, the world is continuous. It's only people that change. If only that were true. As I said, it surprised us too. Oh my, you really rehearsed your part well. Okay then, welcome to the 20th century. Continue. What does all this have to do with me? I was about to get to that. As I said, the way back to the other time capsule was pure torture. I really hope this story has a punchline. Do you want me to continue or not? Depends. How long will it take? Fine. Whatever. I'll make it short. We finally reached the global. Night had fallen by then, and we decided to camp in the ruins. 